This successful family vlogger was arrested by 20 armed police and charged with some serious offenses towards their children. And a masterful manipulator. I have manipulated using I've manipulated using external rewards. I'm only gonna say it one more time and then you're gonna lose the privilege to eat dinner. My bedroom was taken away for seven months and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. I don't think our viewers know that. <laughs> and she was saying her prayers and she said the cutest thing. She said, dear Heavenly Father, please help me to survive. I'll be honest with you, right? You're gonna have to excuse all this, okay? I just come out of meditation. Didn't come back from karate class or anything. Now, some serious information has come out following their arrest, and if I have to say so, it could not get worse than this. So this is my first video on the situation, so allow me just to uh, keep you guys up to speed of what's actually going on. Eight Passengers was a YouTube channel started in 2015 that documented the lives of mother and father, Ruby and Kevin Frank, and their six children, Sherry, Chad, Abby, Julie, Russell, and Eve. And to be honest with you, Ruby, the mother, has always demonstrated a terrible sense of motherhood. Like, they call themselves strict, but they take it to a new level and take their children's items and then sell it back to them. <laughs> but get this right, she started a new channel with her friends called Connections, where she would give some extremely harmful and awful advice to desperate mothers. It, it almost feels like Ruby has always been a topic of controversy. So let me give you an example, all right? You guys watching at home right now, yeah, you. I'm, I'm literally talking directly to you. I can see you. <laughs> I can see you. <laughs> this is creepy as fuck. For you guys at home, all right, click the like button, subscribe, but also comment down below if this is the kind of woman that should be given advice to desperate mothers. Just got a text message uh, from Eve's teacher, and she said that Eve did not pack a lunch today, and can I bring a lunch over to the school? I know that her teacher is uncomfortable with her being hungry and not having a lunch. I responded and just said, Eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning and she actually told me she did pack a lunch. So the natural outcome is she's just going to need to be hungry and hopefully, hopefully nobody gives her food and nobody steps in and gives her a lunch. Oh, what's that? You, you, you caught your finger in the blender? Well, you're responsible for your own health, so hopefully now you just bleed out and die. I mean, the analogy is pretty similar, right? If she's hungry, she has to stay hungry. <laughs> you know, she has to fend for herself in the wilderness. And this person gives motherly advice to desperate mothers. <laughs> oh, but you know what? I'm such a good mother. I'm gonna start my own YouTube channel and give other desperate mothers who don't know what they're doing advice. Starve your children. Take their items from them. And take their rooms away from them. <laughs> take everything. <laughs> Freak. But now Ruby Frank and her friend Jodie Hildebrand have been arrested for two counts of child abuse. Following this, her daughter Sherry actually came out on Instagram and basically expressed how she felt. She was happy that justice has finally been served and that it's been a long time coming since this was reported years ago and the police didn't have enough evidence to actually, like, you know, charge Ruby with anything, so she's just happy that justice is served. But now we can actually say Ruby has been arrested and hopefully danger is gone. I mean, <laughs> what's she gonna do about it? No officers, it wasn't me, it was somebody else. I didn't do those things. Yeah, tell that to the 2.5 million witnesses you had subscribed to your channel, poo poo brain. Speaking of subscribers, Sherry actually also asked people for a favor. Favor? <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> I am masculine. She asked people to help her gather evidence of all the videos that could possibly help the case, especially from the Connections channel. And thankfully, they did band together and build up a ton of evidence. Ruby hasn't got two legs to stand on. Now you might be asking, what does the rest of her family have to say about this? Well, they actually came out on Instagram and released a joint statement, basically speaking for all of them. So let's take a looky. For the last three years, we have kept quiet on the subject of our sister Ruby Frank for the sake of her children. Behind the public scene, we have done everything we could to try and make sure the kids were safe. We wouldn't feel right about moving forward with regular content without addressing the most recent events. Once we do, we will not be communicating on it further. Ruby was arrested, which needed to happen. Jodie was arrested, which needed to happen. The kids are now safe, which is the number one priority. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's that, that's a perfect response. Uh, the kids are number one priority. 1000% agree with you. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we weren't fully aware of why Ruby was arrested. We just knew she was arrested on, you know, two counts of uh, child abuse. Well, we now know what actually went down that night. But firstly, starting with the fact that uh, Ruby has no bail. So no one can actually pay to get her out of jail. <laughs> so much for all that money and power. 
and a swift comeback from her husband saying that he was not willing to speak to the police and requested a lawyer. So I see what you're trying to do there, Frankie. I'm trying to take back the power. <laughs> not happening, Sonny. Your wife is fucked. Kevin Frank did not speak to the police, instead requested a lawyer. Arrest information reports. She was ordered to be held without bail in the Washington County Jail. But here's the question, right? When she was arrested, 20 armed police showed up. You know, like, she got a meth lab or something, that's my first question. But, she didn't have a, a, a meth lab. She had something a lot worse than that. So, enough jokes, it's pretty serious. Arresting documents detail that the arrest was made after a child climbed out of a window of an Ivan's, Ivan's residence. So, at around 10.50 a.m. Wednesday and ran to their neighbor's house for some help. The home belonged to Jordi Hildebrandt, who was involved with the parent counseling service called Connections, and was also arrested in relation to the case. But keep that in mind, guys, yeah? Ruby and her stupid friend Jordi had, like, a parenting show where they would answer the questions and, and help struggling parents, you know, how to be a better mother. The child knocked on the door and asked for food and water, but the neighbour noticed duct tape on the child's ankles and wrists and called the police. Police described the wounds as neglect and malnourishment of the child to be severe. Arrest in documents state, and the child was taken to the hospital for treatment. After the first child was taken to the hospital, another child was discovered in the home and was found to be malnourished as well. A search warrant was obtained by the police and during the search of the home, evidence was located consistent with the markings found on the juvenile. Arresting documents state Frank was seen on a YouTube video filmed in the residence just days before the incident. So the child ran across the neighbor's house, thirsty and hungry, wombs on them, and duct tape to their ankles and wrists. Right, well, no one told me the new season of Black Mirror was out. And that's not even a joke. This sounds like a Black Mirror episode. It does. What's going on? But on a serious note, I never expected to read something like this. We all knew, right? We all had knowledge that Ruby Frank was a bit of an, a, a maniac, yeah? She had some crazy parenting skills, okay? And we can't even call them skills at this point. They were just complete insanity. It was definitely a very, you know, unique way of parenting. But I never thought it would be something as extreme as this. But as I said earlier, keep in mind that these two degenerates were giving advice to struggling parents. These two were giving advice. That's like a murderer trying to give advice on how to be a good person. And by the way, this isn't even the first time the police were involved. They were involved like a few years ago as well, but apparently they didn't actually have enough evidence to charge Ruby. But let's just be thankful that the wrath of Ruby is finally over. And now I'm gonna take a huge dump on your bed. Now the police department actually did release a statement and confirmed everything that was said in the report. I'm only gonna say it one more time and then you're gonna lose the privilege to eat dinner. Now I do actually have a recording of the police report to show you when the police arrived on the scene. And you know, it's very long, so I'm gonna attempt to cut it down to the most crucial parts. And just let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are so far. And um, yeah, just let me know guys. I mean, this is a pretty fucked up situation. 12x11, 12x4, if you can back on a child. I where he said a 12 year old male showed up with tape around his legs, thirsty, asking for help, said he was afraid, asking for police. Devar, he gave the name of Frankie, unknown date of birth, or he did give us the date of birth, but I'm not showing any relevance film in. I'll keep looking into that. The RP said he left through the porch of the neighbor's house. 10 for break 12 x 11 and 17 just 10 14 the male does have duct tape around each ankle he's not telling the rp why and said that there's sores around his wrists and ankles he's becoming or correction the rp is becoming emotional regarding the child's health i'm going to go ahead and have medical stage on this one or 17 sorry the rp said that he said he left from a neighbor's of uh, jody hildebrand in ivan's 54 year old female not sure if they're related. When asking the RP's parents if he said his mom is Ruby Frankie, unknown where she lives. 12x11, 12x17. I do have a Ruby Frankie spelling with an E on the end of Frankie address out of Springville. Only involvement was a traffic offense a couple of days ago. 12x11. What's the address for that Jody Hildebrandt? Sorry, which address for Jody? Do you have an address for her in Kansas? Yeah, Tepper, she's just a few streets up showing the address of... Copy. If mom really is Ruby, I threw her 21 and the call as well from her 27. Control 12x11, does she have an address in Springville? 
FBI tip where she's showing up in Salt Lake per her Facebook. Her and Jody both are therapists showing addresses up or locations for their work up in Salt Lake as well. Copy, yeah. Jennifer, that's going to be the mom. Looks like we did have an involvement with mom on the 25th of this month. It was a traffic offense in a white Honda. Yeah. Also in the 28th here, Cat, as well. Control, about what time does this get called in? The call was created at 11.02. 12 X 11. I think I may have found dad also a Kevin Frankie address out of Springville. Just yep. Jeopardy and I did run also a vehicle search on Jody. She's showing a white Lexus ES sedan. Twelve X seventeen eleven, that's gonna be there. She's was the one that pulled up next to me on the road. Control twelve X seven, can you hold there? We're searching the house. Paul and you have three and one that are coming up behind you. So yeah. Definitely paints an extremely horrifying picture of what went down that night. To be honest here, Ruby being arrested is probably the best thing that could have happened to those children. I mean, do they really want a mother that's around like that? And I have no idea about Kevin, the father. Fuck knows what he's like. We don't know yet. You know, he was arrested, but he wasn't charged with anything. But let me, let, let's take a look at this anyway, what he said. He said, so the father of the children, Kevin, well, Kevin's attorney told Page Six that his urgent focus is to keep the children safe under his fatherly love. Now, I hate to say it, but probably the worst case scenario, isn't it? So honestly, it's probably much better that the children were with social services. I mean, obviously it's unfair and it's sad what's happened, but it's not their fault that their parents turned out to be that way. You know what I mean? So they shouldn't really have to pay for it, but that's the world we live in. It's just a fucked up, uh, destructive world. But yeah, guys, if anything new happens, then I will follow up with a new video. Uh, so subscribe so you don't miss my uploads. I'm thinking my next video is going to be on EDP45. You know, the pedophile. So. Yeah. But yeah, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm going back to do some karate now. Meditation. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.